Start with your paper in landscape position. Carefully fold your paper up to the top so that it's in half. Open your paper up and grab a brown oil pastel. Now it's time to draw our trees. Starting from the folded edge, start drawing your trees going up the paper. Color them in. Remember we want these to look like fall trees with lots of branches. might be helpful to draw a Y before making your tree. Here's how you do that. Start with a Y and then just fill in your branches. Now that you've got the hang of it, keep making more trees. Make sure that some are really tall and some are short, showing a good variety of height. Now it's time to paint our trees with Biggie Cakes. We are using red and yellow and orange. Remember that it's very important for you to properly clean off your brush before you dip it into a new color. Don't worry if some of the colors blend in together. These are all warm colors, so they'll blend in really nicely. After you've made some finishing touches to your tree, add in a little bit of blue for the sky. Be careful here not to touch the trees. You don't really want the blue to blend in with our warm colors. Next, it's time to add some green for the ground. You should be right on that folded edge that we made earlier. Now it's time to take your water and just paint a light layer of water on the bottom half of the fold. This is gonna act as our reflection. Once it's nice and wet, fold your paper over carefully, give it a little press. I pressed a little too much here in this case, and then reveal the reflection. You might need to do a little bit of touching up. You could grab a paper towel and blot out any puddles of color that you don't want there, and you can even touch up the trees just a little bit but we wanna leave the reflection as it is. Carefully take your paper over to the drying rack. It will be very wet, so bring your messy mat with you. Next week, we will finish these up and add more details.